welcome back to my channel so as you can see your auntie has gotten her hair did um so yeah i did my hair um and i thought you guys might want to see these rihanna uh, inspired um locks so so some details um it took me about five hours to do them i got at least five packets of these darling braids i'm gonna insert a clip here um they're called the josie dread i got them in color one because that matches my hair uh best in terms of the color and then i also did get the expression ones just to compare so if you have an option i would strongly suggest you get the darling ones and not the expression ones they're not that great <laughs> but anyway so yeah so i thought you ladies might want to see what i got going on how i got it done um and yeah save yourself some coins shout out to this lady right here i'm gonna put her channel she's the one who did um the video originally that i saw and it helped me so much because i had no fucking idea what i was doing because the ends are blunt and i was like there's no crochet loop there's what am i supposed to do so yeah if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing to my channel do click the like button if you like this type of content and you might as well click on the bell so that every time I do drop a video you, you guys know I drop here and there you need an alert so that you know that I've dropped a video so yeah um, thanks <laughs> thanks see ya later bye these are the locks that I use predominantly. These are the darling ones. Um, in color number one, they're called the Josie Dread. So they're really long. I think they're 22 inches. So you definitely have to cut them. Um, you can either cut them halfway or like I did. This is like how long this damn thing is. Like it's long, long, long. So I cut them up to here. I left about a quarter and you cut them off just like this you want to keep these to the side don't lose them alternatively you can also get the expression one so the expression one is called the molly locks 22 inch as well um but this was in color number two i got both of these from style diva by the way um i've forgotten the price but i will put it somewhere here and these ones are a bit more brown these ones i put them like in the in the crown of my head because i had run out so initially i got three packets um and because they're really long i needed more so i got five of the darling and then i just got this extra one um yeah just to be safe so let's get started So I'm left with these two parts. I'm just going to show you guys how I install. So let's start with the installing. What you're going to do here is you want to open your normal three parts, okay? As if you're doing a braid. But initially, you just take a third of that part and leave it to the side, okay? And then you take the long part of your dread and just put it here all right what i like to do is i try to measure um with the length of my hair all the way down and then this is how i then secure it okay and then these other two thirds you want to open them up as well and then you start to do your plait so you do a braid like this normally with the josie dread pinned down Try to also get even parts when you're doing your braid. If not, you can borrow from the other, um, from more, borrow from the other hair. <laughs> okay, so this is the shorter end and this is the long end. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your braid 
which has secured um, this dread. You don't have to make this very tight because the twisting of the hair is also going to make it tight. So you want to pair your braid with the longer part of the Josie dread together like this, okay? And then the shorter end, you want to unravel it, open it up, because you're going to use this to wrap both of those together. So this is the part where you have to be extra careful because you don't want your braid to be uh, peeking through. Put these together and then you start to wrap from the base. Try not to be too tight, just be taut and making sure that you've covered. You can just spread these out as well. Make sure you've covered the braid, your own hair as well as the dread together okay so this is step one pretty much so step two would be wrapping okay so now what we're gonna do is those shorter um, dreads that we cut off you want to um, unravel them in half okay separate and unravel in half okay the more you tug and pull you'll see where it actually separates in half so the one half you want to also separate like this just fluff it out so that it doesn't look very bulky when you wrap and the second piece fluff it out also okay once you're done with that you want to go back to your initial wrap here okay take one of these and mine ends here as you can see I'm gonna start wrapping from just about an inch above okay leave a little bit here as well so that it goes over itself once again don't forget you need to pull taut not tight Also try to use your thumb to really lay over um, this hair that you're using to wrap so that it remains flat. Okay, so this is the end of the piece. Unfortunately, these don't wrap around themselves on their own. So I'm going to take the last piece and then I'm going to start from like an inch above here. Wrap this around itself as well. So that it doesn't unravel so this is what it looks like so there's a piece here towards the end over time it does start to unravel so what i usually do is i get a lighter and i just burn this part and i roll onto the dread and it sticks on um but i'm just gonna do this one again just in case you guys didn't quite catch it the first time um yeah so let's do that again so like i said open one third from here from your little box Try to make sure that the parts are going to be equal in width so that you avoid having to borrow from the other side. Measure how much from the end of this to the root. Let it lay here onto your scalp and then you open up these other two here so that you can start braiding. 
just try to use your fingers to make sure that that dread stays onto your scalp. Okay, then the shorter end you want to unravel. just this side and then put these two together and start wrapping but usually what I also like to do is before I start to wrap I unravel this shorter one in half and then I continue to fluff it more that way once I start wrapping um, the hair I don't stop and then have to start to do this again so it saves you a lot of time if you can do all of this beforehand Okay, so now that I'm done with huh? this one, um, what I'm going to do is take my lighter and uh, light it up. Hello. <laughs> and then just make sure not to burn yourself. Okay, so you just want to like scrape the fire onto the hair. Okay, like you're not trying to burn it. You're just trying to like make sure it feels the heat give it a chance to cool down and then start doing this like you're wrapping sushi or whatever that way it just stays intact here that's pretty much it so let me get some jewelry accessorized and I'll be back hey aunties I'm back so this is what the final look looks like I'm sure you guys want to see the length of the braids I'm gonna try let me actually try to get up okay so as you guys can see these braids are bloody long they go all the way down to my bums and um, yeah I wanted them that way they are quite heavy the first week especially you're gonna struggle that's the truth but other than that I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, I'll be back with more content there's so much happening in my life right now and I'm actually kind of out of breath um, but yeah, stay tuned, like this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.